University of Virginia Health System, we are for sharing the latest health information from top minds to keep you and your family healthy. With UVA Health System Radio, here's Melanie Cole. A stroke is a medical emergency and prompt treatment is crucial. My guest is Dr. Andrew Sutherland. He's a stroke neurologist at UVA Stroke Center. Welcome to the show, Dr. Sutherland. So tell us what is a stroke? Well, thank you, Melanie. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you this morning. Uh, in short, a stroke is, is an abnormality uh, affecting um, the blood flow uh, to the brain. Uh, it can either be an ischemic stroke, which is the majority of strokes, whereby there's a blockage of blood flow from a blood clot or hardening atherosclerosis of an artery, for instance, that keeps a certain part of the brain from getting oxygen and nutrients that it needs. And this ultimately results in an injury to that part of the brain and as many su- stroke sufferers and families of uh, stroke sufferers know, it leads to, to unfortunate long-term disability and in cases death. Stroke is one of the, the leading causes of long-term adult disability in this country and, um, and around the world. Of course, there can also be hemorrhagic strokes where there's bleeding on the brain, which are also an emergency and devastating in many cases. And, and this can be related to uh, ruptured blood vessels from high blood pressure or from, um, from uh, blood vessel abnormalities like aneurysms that can rupture and so forth. So stroke is, is really a compilation of many different causes all leading to the same unfortunate result, which is, which is disability and injury to the brain. So, Dr. Sutherland, what are some of the most common symptoms? Because we hear that based on those symptoms and how fast you act is how well your stroke can be treated. So explain the symptoms of a stroke, whether we would recognize them in ourselves as they happen or in our loved ones as we're watching them happen. Well, that's exactly right, Melanie. That's very important that, that the motto we use in stroke treatment is time is brain. It is very important to recognize these signs and symptoms early and call 911. Um, if you see uh, someone having a stroke or if you yourself recognize the symptoms. The acronym that we, that we really try to put forth in the community supported by the American Heart American Stroke Association is FAST, F-A-S-T, and that stands for face, arm, speech, and then, of course, time. And so if the, common, the most common signs would be if you see someone with weakness of one side of the face, commonly called drooping of the face, uh, weakness, or uh, drifting of an arm, and of course this could be applied to the legs as well, but certainly more recognizable as weakness of an arm uh, on one side of the body. Any changes in speech, stroke can manifest as slurring speech or garbled speech, or even loss of the ability to get words out. Many people have seen this in stroke sufferers. And then the last would, of course, be time. So if you see any of those signs and symptoms, um, and for that matter, any new onset neurological symptoms that happen abruptly, this can even be uh, changes in vision or even... Uh, severe headache, I think the important thing to know is just to call 911 immediately and have that patient evaluated. So how can a stroke be treated? If you call 911 and you don't want to drive someone, you know, to the hospital because time, as you say, is so important, time is brain, when you get to the hospital, what can you expect? What are the treatments for stroke? Well, in most uh, um, hospitals, and, and of course we have designations as primary stroke centers, UVA being uh, having the highest level of designation uh, by the American, American Stroke Association. We're going to be uh, seen rapidly by an emergency team, and then in many cases a neurology team uh, all combined into a stroke alert of some variety, and, and there will be rapid neurological evaluation. And then moving towards uh, getting some sort of head imaging, usually a CAT scan of the head, to see if there is a difference uh, between a hemorrhagic stroke or an ischemic stroke uh, because they will be treated differently. The hallmark treatment for ischemic stroke or blockage in blood vessels is really a novel drug called IVTPA. Many of you know it as a clot-busting drug, and this has been approved for some time, but really has changed the game, our ability to to substantially decrease one's chance of having long-term disability or death, if we can get that medicine in soon enough. We have a window of time of several hours, but the important thing for people to know is that every minute counts. So uh, every every little delay that could happen before getting treated or evaluated um, may have substantial impact on one's one's long-term quality of life. So so the sooner the better, and and, uh, and we have many treatments beyond that uh, at our disposal, um, whether it be uh, interventional procedures or or neurosurgical expertise. Uh, The main thing is to get the hospital soon. And when stroke is being treated so quickly, 
what are the benefits, and then what is the resulting outcome? Well, I think if we can get the if we can get TPA in soon enough, for instance, for ischemic stroke, um, and we're able to restore, perfuse the brain that might otherwise um, be limited in getting blood flow, um, then we can uh, we can save brain, for instance, brain that may otherwise be at risk that can be restored if it can receive blood flow again, and that will uh, decrease uh, upwards of a thirty percent decreased chance of having long-term disability. Could even be uh, a very simple difference of walking out of the hospital or ending up in a nursing home. And so those are the sorts of, of uh, quality of life measures that we're really aiming for with our, with our rapid stroke treatment. Um, most everyone that presents to the hospital and is having a stroke will get admitted to our neurological uh, stroke unit where we have nursing expertise, therapy expertise, uh, and, of course, uh, physician expertise to help see folks through that period. And, and if, if disability is there, get them into a rehab setting as soon as possible to start working on their uh, obtaining those faculties again. Dr. Sutherland, tell us about iTreat, a new UVA program to speed stroke treatment. Well, Melly, iTreat is a really exciting program that we are we are starting in the early uh, phases here at UVA. It's, it is a uh, project about um, using mobile telemedicine, so simple uh, tablet-based portable um, devices such as an iPad and a modem uh, to help communicate with paramedics and EMS workers while they're bringing stroke patients to the hospital. So traditionally, we have to wait for the patient to get to us in order to start the diagnostic and treatment process. But now with, with simple uh, mobile teleconferencing equipment, we can take advantage of this increasing technology and wireless Internet to put ourselves in the back of the ambulance. And in a place like UVA where patients may be traveling from a rural area um, upwards of a half an hour, this is substantial time that we can go ahead and begin that treatment process and really, again, continue to focus on that aspect that time is brain and not to let any minute be, uh, be wasted from the moment that someone starts out a stroke to the moment that we can get them life-saving treatment. That is amazing. And tell us where we can find out more about iTreat. Well, if you'd like to know more about iTreat, I would encourage listeners to, um, to look on uh, the Internet uh, for the combination of UVA and UC, that's U-S- E-E-D. Uh, it'll take you to a link to our, uh, to our current uh, website whereby we're raising funds for this uh, feasibility research right now. It also has a lot more information and a little video, and, and so I encourage li- our listeners to, to seek that out. Of course, they can also contact our Stroke Center at 434-924-2783 and, um, um, for, for uh, business, uh, referrals or more information as well. So. And the program is called iTreat. It's a new UVA program to speed stroke treatment for victims that are suffering from a stroke. So, Dr. Sutherland, in the last minute here, tell us why patients should choose UVA for their stroke care and your best well, advice about stroke for us. Well, I think that um, at UVA we certainly do our best to provide all the, the possible offerings that one might, um, one might uh, in, uh, want. Uh, related to comprehensive stroke care, and this ranges not only from the stroke neurology team, for which I'm a part of, um, but also to our nursing staff, to our therapy staff, to uh, world-class neurosurgical uh, care and neurological ICU care. We also have a wonderful interventional neuroradiology team that can do amazing things in some cases of stroke, going up into the brain and actually removing uh, clots from the brain. So lots of lots of novel technology as well as uh, clinical research studies as well uh, patients might not otherwise have the opportunity to participate in um, in other in other institutions and and uh, and we certainly are doing everything we can to continue to uh, to improve the outcomes for our stroke patients and and uh, we can uh, continue to offer uh, these these novel ideas going forward Thank you so much, Dr. Andrew Sutherland. For more information, you can go to uvahealth.com. That's uvahealth.com. You're listening to UVA Health System Radio. I'm Melanie Cole. Thanks so much for listening.